What's up, everybody? It is your boy Zoff Gamer, and I am back for another vlog adventure for you guys. This will be episode 15 for you guys to watch. Before you watch the video of me going out there and seeing if we find any awesome product for the week, I want to say shout out to the people that entered our giveaway. I do have a giveaway I do every Tuesday on Twitter, and all you have to do is subscribe, like, and comment on the video that I linked to that Twitter post. So, without further ado, let's see who won this week's giveaway. All right, guys, so we've got all the entrants ready to go here for our giveaway. So we're gonna go ahead and shuffle them up and we're gonna spin the wheel right now. And good luck to everybody that participated. And the winner is Miguel Ayala. And I know who that is. He goes by Tachi. He hasn't won in a long time. So congratulations on winning the giveaway on Twitter. So shout out to you, my friend. All right, guys. So as you saw, we had the winner for this week. So congrats to that person that won. We will be doing another one this upcoming Tuesday. Just hit up Zalf Gamer at Twitter for details on how to enter. But in the meantime, guys, enjoy vlog episode 15. All right, guys. How's it going? It's your boy Zoff Gamer back for a vlogging adventure to see if we can get some Pokemon today. And uh, we're at store number one. Another beautiful sunny day, two weeks in a row. But let's see if uh, this store restocked this week. So come along and enjoy the show. All right, guys. So in stop number one here, unfortunately, nothing really stocked for Pokemon. I only saw a few of the Pokeballs from the Pokemon Go set. Yeah, it looks like just those two. A um, bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh! and some other random card game stuff. Uh, yeah, just more Yu-Gi-Oh! A little bit of sports. Not as uh, stocked at the store again. So two weeks in a row I've come here and uh, no luck. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and check, uh, excuse me, take a look at toys and maybe luck out there. We'll see. 12 seconds later. All right, guys, so we're here in the toy department and no pokies except for the two plushies down there. Same situation like last week. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, head on to the next store and see if we can get lucky there. 20 minutes later. All right, guys, we are here at our second store and uh, let's hope we can get a little bit luckier. Anybody got a Pokeball? I need to catch that. All right, guys, we are here at the second store, and the only thing they got is two ETBs, one for Shining Face and one for Astral, so that's pretty cool and all, but fortunately, we already completed the uh, Shining Face set, so we don't need that. I'm not really interested in Astral right now. I'm actually looking for more Lost Origins at the moment, uh, so we're going to pass on those, and then there's just a starter deck there. Other than that, Look at how much Yu-Gi-Oh there is. Man, the Yu-Gi-Oh stocks lately at Walmart have been insane uh, for the last couple weeks. And then, of course, Magic Gathering's all stocked up. Um, a lot of trading, or should I say sports cards down there, but nothing we're wanting here. So we'll take a peekster at uh, toys and then move on to the next store. 12 seconds later. All right, guys, so same situation. They don't have any TCG back here, just a few of the toys. So. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the next store and see if we can get lucky because we're trying to find some Lost Origins and Pokemon Go today. A few moments later. All right, guys, we're here at our third store and crossing my fingers that we'll see more than just two ETBs. So let's take a look and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, a little bit of a better news at this store. There is a lot of things. So uh, besides the Yu-Gi-Oh, all right, and besides the starter decks, we see an Infernate box. I'm most likely gonna pick that up. Um, I see one little loose blister of the uh, two pack erasers of Evolving Skies and Astral. A uh, bunch of Pokemon 10s. Uh, but we see some boxed merchandise here and I think I'm gonna take one of the Bolton Vs. It's been a while and I haven't opened Brilliant Stars in a while. So we're gonna take one of these and one of the uh, Infernate boxes. Uh, and we'll wait to open those when we get back. And then they got also, it looks like they just got these in too. Ultimate Squad, Dragon Ball. Um, yeah, really cool. Oh, that's really cool too. The Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks there. Uh, so 
what a good find. Uh, we'll peek at toys real quick and then we'll head out to the next store and this is a win for us guys. 12 seconds later. All right, so clearly, once again, toys is a no-go. Nothing on the pegs, nothing on the shelves, just a few of the figurines. So on to the next store, guys. A few moments later. All right, guys, we are here at store number four at another Walmart. So let's see if we get lucky and find some more product today. So this is actually very interesting. Uh, this, this store I come to quite a bit. Um, actually decide to move their, their cards over into electronics um, so as you can see right here there's a bunch of sports cards here and a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh on that end and then right over here more sports cards uh, with some ultra pro sleeves and whatnot but uh, doesn't look like there's no Pokemon here so I recheck toys is a no-go as well um, so we're gonna head to one more store and see if we can get lucky over there otherwise we'll open our product from earlier today so let's head on out 20 minutes later. All right, guys, we're here at our fifth and final store. Uh, this is a new store we've never been to. I've never been to this Walmart at all, so let's see what they have in store for us. All right, guys, so we do have a few things here. There are a few of the Pokemon Go 10s. Um, there's also some of the Pikachu V boxes, and honestly, that's about it for Pokemon other than the, uh, the V battle decks there. Quite a bit of Yu-Gi-Oh things again. I've been seeing a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh everywhere we go. A little bit of Metazoo too. So, um, so I would I would pick up. Oh yeah, there's an ETB right there as well, shiny face. But yeah, I would pick up a Pikachu V Box. But we got the Bolton. I think the Bolton is a, a little bit better in my personal opinion. But maybe next time we'll pick up a P Pikachu V uh, for next week. Otherwise, we're gonna go ahead and check toys just one last time and then call it a night and head back home. So let's go take a look at toys. Eventually. All right, guys, I'm back. We are ready to open up some product today. We got the Infernate V Box and the Bolton V Box. We were fortunate to find this product today out of five stores because I'll tell you, some of the stores were really short on product again. Um, there was a lot of Pikachu V Boxes, uh, at least on some of the stores we went to, uh, but I decided. We're gonna pass on this. I think the Bolton was the best way to go in the only store that had this one and the Infernate box. I love the Infernate boxes. They've been really fire as of late. Uh, so we'll see if they're fire again in today's pack opening after our vlog. So without further ado, I do want to say two things, right? One, before we start the opening, if you're new to the channel and you're not subscribed, to the Zalf Gamer 2 channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications to catch the next new videos that are coming off the pipeline, and of course, like and comment on today's video. That's number one. And number two, I did lose footage in the last store for the toy section, and you know what? We did decide on a bonus item. We're gonna open up one of these Pokemon Go 10s as well. So we're gonna open up this. We're gonna try our luck on these. I, I haven't opened one of these tins at all. So this will be the first time in the channel we've opened up a tin. I was looking hopefully uh, for one of those promo boxes, the uh, the Team Instinct one, uh, but there were no team boxes out there. No Valor, no no Mystic, n nothing. So, but there were tins at also some of the stores we went to. So let's give it a shot. All right guys, without further ado, let's do some magic and then let the fun begin on pack openings. All right, guys, we have our packs ready to go here. And before we open them, I did want to showcase these cards because I've already showcased those promo cards from previous vlogs or pack openings. But, uh, you know, I thought this was the only thing that was going to be in the 10s, but I realized they give you this promo card. So the other two 10s, the Snorlax and I believe, what is it, the Blissey? Is it the Blissey or the Chansey 10? One of those uh, two Pokemon. Uh, get their own promo card as well because this was on the top when I opened it. I was like, oh, okay. Uh, I was like, that's it? But no, they do give you another promo card to go with that same Pokemon. And then they give you these three stickers out of tens, which is disappointing because that's great. I got this and I got that one, but uh, Snorlax looked like he went to Cobra Kai and he got creased on. You show your enemy no mercy. So, yeah, let's just, uh, yeah, they need to package them better, in my personal opinion, so they don't ruin the stickers for all the Pokemon. Uh, but without further ado, we ain't here for the stickers. I'm going to put them on my binders later, but we're going to open up the pack. So we're going to start off with this pile, and this one 
has the uh, Infernape V-Box pack. So you get a Fusion Strike, an Astral Radiance pack, and two Lost Origins. So we're going to start with that. We're going to say Pogo for last because we're still chasing Pogo for big hitters. Now, Fusion Strike, uh, biggest hitters as far as I know, is the Alt Art uh, Espeon and the Gengar. Uh, the Mew as well behind them, and there's many other good cards in there, and uh, I've done really well with Fusion Strike, so we'll see how it goes this time around. Fortunately, starting off with a white code card, there's the code for you guys at home, so enjoy your uh, Pokemon trading card online. Uh, good luck on those booster packs, I should say. So we're just going to flip and skip because this was the set before the Trainer Galleries came out, so this is a, a Arachnid as a reverse and Oricorio as the rare so nothing in the fusion strike pack so that will be another dutter now we go into astral radiance which i have not honestly opened too much astral i've actually opened more lost origin than astral because it to me there's so many sets out there i'm still trying to finish up like evolving skies for example and now pokemon go set so i'm focusing primarily on those before i go back into astral <clears throat> and if we get stuff like this i don't mind opening astral radiance as well um but to each his own like it depends on what the collector wants to go for me personally i'm still chasing for my master sets on three sets right now i forgot to mention rebel clash so all right here is the next code card for you guys and we will not flip and skip because astral has a chance at the trainer gallery so we will call water energy oh baby yeah uh, young maga we got the uh, gape jaw we got the magneton the hippopotas we've got cyndaquil scyther growlith Bronzor into a Reggie Drago oh, and a Shaman. So nothing there, unfortunately. So that was 0 for 2 on those packs. Now we go into the Lost Origin packs. And let's see if we can get lucky on these final two packs. I would hope so after two duds, right? They say three is a charm. All right, well, there you go. Three is a charm. We'll see if it works out. Black code card, good sign. That's step one. Step two, can we pull a big banger? All right, let's go fire. Okay, darkness energy, Torkoal. Uh, Rizu, we got Relicanth. We got Schnover, Machop, Pikachu, Jinx, Litwick. Oh, <laughs> this is going to be a double banger. I hope it's it. I hope this is huge. Oh, man, my, my Sneasler into a beauty fly, but we'll take those. We'll definitely take those for sure. So we hit a Radiant Sneasler, and that's the first Radiant Sneasler I believe I have. Yeah, because I think my first one was uh, Gardevoir, if I'm not mistaken. So we're just mealing. I think we're missing the Steelix now. It's the only Radiant I'm missing out of the set, as far as I know. All right, here we go. Another black code card. Man, back to back. And this is why I like these boxes. I feel like I've been hitting quite well, especially on the new product. All right, here we go. Let's go Steel Energy. That's water again. Oh, oh, there's something good. I saw silver. Let's go Poly World, unless that's the reflection. Uh, Licky Licky, Luminion, Litleo, Ghastly, Ducklet. We got the Zora. We got the Binacle. Nuzleaf has a reverse into an Ice Can or an Ice Can. Is Can, Is Can, Two Can Sam. I will take it. My first full art of that, as far as I know. Let's go. <laughs> All right. And this is, again, why I like these boxes so much. It's, the hitters have been incredible on these promo boxes as of late. All right. And speaking of the next promo box, this will be the Bolton V box, which has two brilliant stars, an Evolving Skies, and another Fusion Strike pack to try to open. So here we go. We're going Fusion Striking. We are going Fusion Striking. And let's hope we can get something good out of Fusion Strike. The only thing that I'm really missing big out of Fusion Strike is the Mew VMAX Alt Art. Really, that's one of my biggest ones I'm missing. I pretty much got a lot of the top 10 cards done and out of the way, but um, still chasing that Mew. All right, so white code card, and we know it's going to be a flip skip, and... Smeargle and Latios, and nothing really notable back there. So, um, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I'm still trying to chase that one. Now we go into Evolving Skies, which, you know, I'm very happy with as of late. I've Last time I did a big opening, <clears throat> we got 72 packs 
from multiple Walmarts, and we ended up with four alt arts on a live stream. That was amazing, including my chase card. So, I mean, I've already got the Umbreon. I've already got the Rayquaza. I've got a Leafeon VMAX, but we're trying to chase now either, uh, like, I believe the Sylveon and one of the two alt art Glaceons. We still have not hit a Glaceon yet in this set. All right, here we go. Forward to the back, we actually hit. Let's go Grass Energy. Oh, it's <laughs> We have a shopping spree, a Hypno, Fletchinder, we got C Dot, uh, Woobat, excuse me, Eevee, Temple, Cutie Fly, C Dot as the reverse into an Artovish V Full Art. Uh, fortunately, this is something I already have in my set collection, so that is definitely one of the first duplicates that I own of that card. But nevertheless, that's a great hit. Again, these boxes have been amazing. And for $15 for a bolt V box, if you guys can get your hands on a rollback price at Walmart, $15 bolt V boxes, they're definitely worth it, especially for the two Brilliant Star Packs, which, speaking of Brilliant Stars, here we go. First one, white code card, but can we hit a trader gallery? That is the question. Let's find out. One, two, three, four. Let's go fighting energy. <laughs> we got Team Yell, uh, Cecino. We got Cleansing Gloves, Sock. Corefish, Golet, Chimiko, we got, or Chimeco, excuse me, we got Chimchar, Executor, and a bot, wait, whoa, a hollow out of a white code card, Pack Error, let's go, okay, okay, that's interesting, first Pack Error I've ever seen for Brilliant Stars, interesting, I still haven't seen one for Fusion Strike yet, um, but that's the first Pack Error for... Brilliant stars. That's really cool. All right. Last pack magic on this box. Another white coat card. But that doesn't mean... Uh, could it be another air pack? I'll be surprised. All right. Here we go. Four to the back. Let's go water energy. <laughs> Morgrim. We got Acerola. Uh, Siggy. Uh, Sphinx. We got Cub Cho. Dedene. Uh, Nose Pass. Snow Rock. And a Hound Dude. There it is. A trader gallery hound dude. It's a mini QP Max on a white code card, guys. Let's go. That was a double banger uh, uh, air pack, I guess. Wow, that's incredible. Incredible. I, again, these promo boxes have been crazy amazing. I, I love opening. I'm going to have to get more, guys. I think it's worth I thought the three-pack blisters was were good this time around, but man, these V-boxes have been fire as of late. All right, now, the main event, the four packs of Pogos. So yeah, you get four packs of Pogos per 10 that you buy. So let's see if the 10 luck can continue. I should say the luck continues on the 10s. There you go. That's what I meant to say. Whoops. Big whoops. All right, here we go. Pack one. Pogo, and we're still chasing one of the big Mewtwo's in this set, so here we go. We get to show off every single code this time around. All right, here we go. Let's go fire. Oh, lightning again. We got Lure Modular, uh, Camera Up. We got Blanche. We got Pikachu, Spinarak, Rattata, Lavatar, uh, Raticate into an Embapalm and a Zapdos Hollow. so nothing there, fortunately. We're going to keep an eye out on certain reverse cards, too, because, one, you can pull a Radiant from that slot, and, two, there's a possibility that certain reverse cards are going to be a Ditto in disguise. So, even though I don't think I need any more of the Dittos. I think I've got all three. Um, I forgot. It's Spinarak, Numel, and uh, Bidoof, I believe, are the three. So, all right, here we go. Oh, V-Star Marker. Is it a Vizar marker? Oh, yes, it is. All right, we got Pokestop, Steelix, we got Zatu, we got Tranquil, Squirtle, Meltan, we got Ampom, or Apom, excuse me, Magikarp into a War Turtle, reverse into a Mel Metal V. All right, I hit from pack number two. Two to go. We're still trying to find one of the big three Mewtwo's in the set. The gold, the rainbow, or the uh, New York City Mewtwo. All right, here we go. I actually would prefer the, the New York City Mewtwo over anything, but that's just me. All right, here we go again. Code card for you guys, by the way. All right, we are going one, two, three, four, and let's call Grass Energy. Right, again, I've seen a lot of lightning today. All right, Solrock, 
Lure Module, Charmeleon, Amber Palm, Not to Larvitar, Tranquil, Radicate, Blanche the reverse into a bar slocking. I will take that. That is a new card officially in that set. So for me, that is for my collection. Let's go. All right. Slot King, you are on the board, baby. And now we go into last pack magic, or shall I say the LPM. Let's get that LPM, fam. Here we go. Can we do it? All right, code card for you guys at home. Good luck on those packs, and good luck on this pack. And another V-Star marker. Oh, <laughs> another V-Star marker. There's the V-Star marker. Dang, two in a ten. That's pretty rare. All right, Blanche, Steelix. We got Lunatone, Eevee, Onyx, Magikarp. We got Padove, Bulbasaur, the A-Palm, which unfortunately not, uh, well, yeah. Not a ditto. Into <laughs> a Slocking V to go with the four. Let's go. Way to end it. Not bad. And that's another one I didn't have either. That was one of the first Slocking Vs I got now. All right. Well, to sum it up, that was not too bad of an opening out of 12 packs. Out of 12 packs, we got uh, eight pretty decent cards. So I will take them all. I know there's some duplicates, but... Nevertheless, this was a victory. So, guys, if you enjoyed the pack opening today, again, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe and, of course, like and comment so we can help spread the word for others, a.k.a. the YouTube algorithm pushes it out there to let them know about the Zalf Gamer 2 channel for his Pokemon content. All right, guys, without further ado, I'm taking out for the rest of the night. You guys have a good rest of your day or evening or night, wherever you're at. I'll see you guys on the next one, and stay awesome and Pokemon responsibly. Take care, guys.